In this video we're looking at app.wizard.me. So you're looking to create interactive handouts, electronic ones that is, then this seems to be the site for you. So you can log on with your Google account or with any email uh, and then click create and you come up with this page. So we can add in our title up the top. We can choose a different design, but I'm going to stick with the one we've got. But you can see lots of different designs available, and then you can choose the type of thing you want them to answer. So you can do an open question, and you've got all of the formatting that you'd hope to see in such a thing. So, open question could add a link to something else, you can add a smiley face, you can edit your font. So that's our open question. We can then choose a multiple choice question. So to speed up this process, so I've got the text already entered off screen, so we'll just paste it in there and we'll pick up our answers. And paste it in there. As I've said in previous videos, when it comes to doing multiple choice questions, I think it's really worthwhile creating a Google Doc and filling all of your questions in there and keeping that as a bank. And then you can add it to the different sites you choose to use for your quizzes. So we've done that. So we've added, oh, show the correct answer. Uh, you can add images to stuff as you go. and you can choose which one is the correct one. Uh, other things you can do, you've got a matching, which I, which I think is really useful. Exercise for students to do. keep adding those as you like and that will do as an example you get the idea it's a really nice easy to use interface um, there's an image you can click on so we'll choose an image I've got one of my own images that I've downloaded Obviously, you could give more detailed instruction as to what you want to do with the image, but you get the idea. And then you just add the tags you want. Okay, and then the last one we'll do, but you can get the idea, is we will add a uh, link. We'll add a video. At the moment the videos are from YouTube, so I've got a link I've already copied, so I'll copy that. But you could use an embed code and embed a video from... And done. So, very easily, as you can see, I've created uh, a multi-activity handout. I can now save that. I can preview it. So we've got open questions, multiple choice questions, a matching thing where they can draw lines between the two. Uh, they can click on the post box and they can watch a video. And then I can share that or assign it to students by adding a group and then adding their email address in there. So there you have it. 
app.wizard.me. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.